Hi there! In this power-up, I'll be showing you how to use the conditional renderer component. It's a powerful component that you can use to show and hide parts of your application's user interface based on the state of the app. In this video, we'll be building a tab layout using conditional rendering. We start with a layout that is not yet fully functional. At the top of the view canvas, we have a tab bar with three tabs. Underneath, there are three containers, each representing the content of a tab. We also have a page variable called active tab that indicates which one of the tabs is currently active. It has an initial value of tab 2, meaning that the second tab will be active when the app is opened. As we can see on the flow canvas, tapping the navigation items in the tab bar changes the value of the active tab page variable to tab 1, tab 2, or tab 3. For a visual indication of which tab is currently active, the bottom border style property of each navigation item has been bound to a formula that sets its width to either 3 or 0 pixels, depending on the value of the active tab page variable. Now we have a working tab bar, but we still need a way to display the right content based on which tab is active. For this, we'll use conditional rendering. Let's find the conditional renderer component from the marketplace, install it, and drag it to the view canvas. Next, let's drag all three content containers inside the conditional renderer component. As a result, they turn into one component on the view canvas. We can see in the properties of the conditional renderer that a render ID has been generated for each of the R content containers. The render ID is a unique property of a component inside the conditional renderer that is used to choose which one of the components to display in the app. You can show a component inside the renderer on the view canvas by clicking on its render ID. You can also reorder the components by dragging and dropping their render IDs. The value of the active render ID property determines which one of the components inside the conditional renderer will be visible in the app. Like other component properties, it can be bound to static text, a variable, a formula, or the value of another component property. In our tab layout example, we want to bind the active render ID directly to our page variable to switch between content containers as the value of active tab changes. To make this possible, let's edit the render IDs of our content containers to correspond to the values that are given to the active tab page variable when tapping on the navigation items. This is done by double-clicking the render ID. Now that the render IDs of our content containers match the values of the active tab page variable, we can bind the value of active render ID directly to the page variable. Now when the value of active tab changes as the user taps on the tabs in the navigation, the conditional renderer will choose the matching content container to display. We now have a working tab layout with conditional rendering. I hope you enjoyed this power-up and thanks for watching!